All right, y'all, we out to you. 151 hunting before release. Pokemon 151 probably will be the most hyped set. I think of the entire Scarlet and Violet era. I know that's early to say, but I think it, I, there's a strong shot. So we're gonna be checking around a ton of Walmarts today, see if we can find some early. First stop, Walmart. Oh, yo, I haven't seen this in stores in forever. Oh, there's packs missing. There should be two more packs up there. Talk about a Pokemon restock. <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff everywhere. Which one is this? So this is C22. I don't know what these have in them. The new trick or trade bundles. Man, look at this restock, y'all. Restock on everything, but I don't see... I don't see Disney Lorcana, which would also be a good grab. I've never seen this pack before. Lost Origin in a Silver Tempest. This is actually... This is a pretty good, uh, this is a pretty good little pack right here. I've never seen that. Doesn't look like any Lorcana, and I'm not seeing 151, which would obviously be the big pickups. Even those Evolution tins down there, haven't seen those in forever. I do wish they had more of those Pikachus. They might have them in the back, so we'll go and check for those. I mean, honestly, it's just always cool to see a restock like this. Especially in my area, we don't get restocks like this too often, so it's always cool to see the shelves loaded, but... All right, let's go check the back out. We came to the back and this is the Pokemon section completely empty, but they literally do have some of these, which I was looking for. Bro, why does it look like a, a pack is again missing from this left side? Maybe the packs are back there. Maybe they fell out of the plastic. That can happen sometimes. And another one that literally looks like they're missing. That is so weird. So we're gonna skip on these because I don't wanna get boxes that uh, the packs are missing from. I feel like because all three boxes look like that, that the packs are probably in there and fell, but not willing to take the risk. On to the next store. Location number two, we got GameStop. I don't see GameStop having it. I think our best bet is going to be Walmarts today, but this was only like a two minute drive, so we'll check it out. The GameStop shelves are actually loaded, and this is super, super cool to see. So I started looking around a little bit. Didn't see any 151 or Lorcana for that matter. Did see this binder. I've never seen this before, so this thing was super cool, but still no 151. But I did go ahead and grab a Dragonite pack to open for you. Mid 151 Pokemon Rip session. I don't know if we're going to get anything, but. I don't know why when I get out to do like these Pokemon hunts, I really start fiending to just... I've been fiending to open 151 like crazy, y'all. I've opened one single pack of Japanese so far. That's literally it. And I have not opened any of the English set. This is like the most excited I've been for a set in a long time. And I'm just way behind on everything right now. So let's see if we can get something out of this Obsidian Flames pack though. Come on, baby. And we're still going to be checking out some more stores. Come on, talk to me. Talk to me. Ah, that's why we're going for 151. You think I care about Obsidian Flames? No, on to the next one. I know this is a weird one, but when I used to do Pokemon hunts all the freaking time, every now and then you would find some like really hidden gems inside Kohl's. So we'll check here, but another thing to note is that I don't know if they still do this. It's been like a year since I've Pokemon hunted at a Kohl's, but their products used to be super like overpriced. Like a one single booster pack would be like seven dollars. But we'll check it out. Now I'm walking around the freaking toy section in Kohl's, probably looking like a freaking weirdo. And I wasn't seeing any Pokemon, but finally I did come up on this. Doesn't look like there's any 151 here, but let's check the prices out. And as y'all can see, I mean both of these things are just super overpriced, so we're gonna move on. Pokemon and Kohl's is way too expensive. I didn't get any of that. We are yet at another Walmart. It's pretty cool with all the spooky season stuff all around lane clothes we're gonna have to you know just do the little slip under there not a good restock at all here so trick or trade and then just like one tin down there and some mystery stuff all right let's check the back out speaking of spooky season the brand new spooky god packs are live on shinyvert.com right now you can get level x cards out of them cool stuff like garatina dark rye and all that so make sure y'all go shop them they will not be restocked once they're sold out. Came to check the back out and there is nothing. It's not looking good, y'all. It's not looking good at all. This might be clutch time. This might be super clutch. Sorry for the extremely bad video, video quality right now. I checked one last Walmart earlier. There was nothing. And then Chris Pie TCG sends me a text. He says they got 151. Asked him to pick me some up. I believe he does have it. Should be here in a minute. He's about to clutch this whole operation for us. So we'll be able to open some 151 in this video before the official release of 
151. <laughs> Yo, you got the goods? Did you order 151 yet? <laughs> Dude, you actually clutched, bro. I've been everywhere today and couldn't find it. Bro, this is the only store that I... I actually went there to play Lorcana and they had it. Let's so I go, went there for dude. a Lorcana event and then now I'm gonna... Gonzo, this is the reason why I'm late. If you watch this video, <laughs> this is why I'm late. I have uh, two orders of ETB. Dude, let's and, freaking uh, go, six man. Six orders of the... Or no, four orders of the booster bundle. Dude, let's go. That's the best... um. Best price value. per okay yeah nice yeah best value per pack for sure let's go That's dude everything. you so clutch good. man thank you bro yeah we're gonna open this in the video thanks to chris Yo, we freaking got 151 early before release. Look how good, look how good this ETB looks. It looks absolutely freaking beautiful. I love how this is like shiny down here. The ETB in general just looks really good. I am super, super excited to open this up. It releases this Friday. Um, let me get all the stuff out of the box and we'll get into our first ever 151 opening. Yo, so I saw Rev talk about this on his video, how this uh, little pamphlet feels like super papery now instead of glossy. And it absolutely does it it feels like construction paper so honestly it doesn't feel like it's premium anymore which like who cares about the pamphlet all right y'all let's just go we're gonna flip straight to the good stuff what y'all want to see i'm sure a lot of you have already seen a few openings of 151 but i am i am literally fiending to open this set i cannot wait to open this set obviously some big cards i'm going for all three of these starter full arts i really like this alakazam full art if we're talking about just the art rares this is probably my favorite one that dragon air is super clean charizard i definitely want i really want to get a psa 10 on that but my number one chase from this set I think is going to be this Alakazam right here. I love that card so much. Can't wait to pull it. I bought into a break the other night. I bought 15 packs and I got the Erica SIR, the big one. So we already don't need that. And I got the full art Mew, the pink one. So I got two really cool cards from that break. Whew, oh my God, dude, the packs just look so freaking good in this set. Everything just looks so good. All right, we're not really worried about any of this stuff in here. We are here for the packs. Look at all this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine packs. All right, here we go, y'all. Big shout out to Chris for our, for getting us this 151 product early. Y'all make sure you go check out his channel. Um, he lives close by, so we're probably going to start hopefully doing a lot more content together. Our first pack of 151 is going down. Can we see it happen? Magneton, Nido Queen, War Turtle. <laughs> No way, dude. There is actually no freaking way. So I now have two of these because like I just said, this was the one I got from the break. And this is the number one most expensive card in Japanese and will probably be in the top three most expensive from the English set. Dude, actually, no way. On our first ever pack of 151, I pull this. That is absolutely freaking insane. The Erica's Invitation. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful card. So bang, I mean, we get it We get it off the bat. I've seen a lot of people talking about hit rates with this set and saying the pull rates are not good. Uh, I. I kind of disagree, and I don't know the full breakdown. I don't know the full stats. I feel like Danny Phantom probably has more of that info. Uh, but just, you know, when we're comparing it to the Scarlet and Violet era so far, like Paldea and all that, yeah, these hit rates probably aren't as good as those. <laughs> no way. Is this about to be a cracked ETB? We get the freaking Charmander now? Dude, we are getting some of the banger, banger freaking cards, and we'll take it, and I am super, super excited to see the energies. We haven't got any yet, but hopefully we'll get one. Man, look at these cards. They just look too freaking good. But the pull rates aren't that bad, in my opinion. Like, we'll see after this ETB, but it's already looking pretty spicy for an ETB. We've got an AR and an SIR, and I know we're not going to be able to see, like, full pull rates from one ETB. But just what I'm saying, when you compare it to most of the sets from the Sword and Shield era, like Evolving Skies, Shilling Rain, any of that stuff, this set is looking still pretty good in my opinion. Like, I feel like people are getting a lot of stuff. Jigglypuff, Dodrio. Did I, did I skip? Did I skip one? No. 
and make sure y'all do come back to this video on Friday to claim these code cards because that is when the code cards will go live. We're about to have a busy, busy weekend of uploads. Lady, ladies and gentlemen, later tonight, I am posting an update on CGC because everybody keeps asking me for that. So I am posting another video about CGC and that is also posting today, later today. Then tomorrow, bang, nothing in that pack, no shiny energy yet. Then tomorrow, there should be another video uh can't even remember off the top of my head right now what it is and then on friday night there will be a live stream where we are opening an entire booster box of evolving skies or evolving cries we'll see who that goes but make sure y'all come through for the live stream that's going to be lit of course dragonair look at some of these arts man it is so good to go back to these og cards raichu and a chancy that's a really cool art rare for or art for a chancy right there oh no it's my favorite one no freaking way dude look oh my god i see three swirls right off the bat and the first one the first shiny energy i ever get is the psychic energy guys i'm sorry i'm so excited for this set um i'm just so excited i, I feel like a set this good has not dropped since crown zenith and crown zenith really wasn't that long ago but like before crown zenith was evolving guys and before that nothing really to be like insanely excited for this is a set that i am insanely excited for i'm so happy we are able to open this early that charmeleon looks really good parasect uh giovanni's charisma a slow poke a pidgeotto and a Kangaskhan EX right there. So we've already got one shiny energy, an EX, a SIR, and an art, and a, uh, and a regular art rare. And we still have three out of our nine packs remaining. ETBs usually aren't this good, y'all. If you go open an ETB from the Sword and Shield era, you get like, like, let's say we're opening Lost Origin. This actually happened to me recently, like maybe a month ago. I opened a Lost Origin ETB off camera and I'm happy it was off camera because I literally got one V card from the entire ETB. So we're looking good in my opinion. Clefable and an Articuno. This, uh, this Articuno looks familiar. It looks like the one from maybe Pokemon Go set and no shiny energy back there. Last two cards. It was all, it's also been a long time since we've done a Pokemon hunt video and I used to do those a ton of on the channel that's kind of how i started this channel really was doing pokemon hunt videos all the time i would get off of work and just go grind really because i'd be hunting at every stores and have to edit the video and it was a lot so i like doing these hunts man it takes me back to my roots clefairy bell sprout and an electrode and another shiny energy these things look too freaking good Oh my gosh. I know everybody wants the master ball and stuff. I'm not going to lie. I'll take the energy over the master balls. I personally, let me know in the comments. Let me know y'all's chase card from this set and let me know energy or master ball. And this is our last pack. If y'all enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you tap the like button. It does help us out in the algorithm. And, you know, give the channel a subscribe. We got a ton of content coming out this weekend. I'm going to be grinding on these edits to get it out for y'all. And I do hope you enjoy it. A Haunter, a Butterfree. Come on, last pack magic. Need Arena, Marowak and nothing so y'all can let me know what you think about the pull rates we will have another 151 video coming super super soon so make sure y'all subscribe i appreciate y'all watching and that cgc video will be posted later tonight if you don't know what's going on with them that company sucks fcgc you can click on this video right here to learn more about it and yeah i know 151 isn't officially here but it's officially here all right i'll see y'all in tonight's video peace